Hello everyone, this is DB0 and uh, tonight we're having you a treat. This is the uh, finals from the Board Game Geek tournament. And this time we're having the matchup between Orange Devil, the second uh, play best player in the first Board Game Geek tournament and a newcomer in Hermes. Uh, with me I have uh, Cordon. Hello there. Hello people. Uh, Cordan was another tournament player who got eliminated, I think, in the uh, quarterfinals. Um, by Orange Devil. By Orange Devil. So, he has a lot of respect for his mad skills. Yes, and I'm also totally with him because I need to be able to say I lost to the tournament winner. <laughs> so, we have a start with Orange Devil as a corporation. And as we know, uh, there is uh, the impression in the uh, online on the uh, tournament community that uh, the runner the player who goes runner first has an advantage in the tournament matchup so let's see if orange devil is going to be able to back this trend and uh, show us how it's done um what do you think uh gordon have you seen any of the videos with uh, i i haven't released any videos with Nermis, but uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I haven't seen Inermis playing. Mm. Um, from his hand, I can see it's a pretty standard acro criminal deck. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and um, he, I've seen him play. I think I have three videos of his. He's a very decent player. He uh, had the, the first game I saw him. He was playing one against one of the best players in France, as far as I know. Um, and uh, then I've seen him, obviously. We see him prove his metal by reaching the top uh, two. Uh, what is he playing except criminal? Uh, criminal Wayland, classic. Of course. <laughs> the Criminal Wayland uh, meta has dominated this tournament. Unfortunately, I was really hoping we would see some more uh, players. Um, okay, hold on, because this is interesting. He actually kept this hand that we didn't expect, uh, where he has. Um, uh, one agenda and one hostile takeover and three late game ice. And uh, this is a quite a risky move because if Inermis has something to break through and he steals that agenda, uh, he's going to really have a problem raising any of those ice. Uh, that is very true, but I think um, he, while keeping that hand would be the, the best thing to do, would take that risk. Mm -hmm. And because maybe by third turn, oh, but he's unlucky as we see here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, his risk will pay off. Well, I mean, it's, it's decent. He only lost one agenda, but he probably was willing to uh, to lose that, and he's um, just going to try and uh, get the hand that he's used with his deep eyes, with his heavy eyes, and uh, actually make that useful. I think if he actually manages to play that hostile takeover, and next time he goes Archer Tollbooth, he has a really strong remote server. Yeah, or he might even choose to lock down uh, R and D pretty fast with a pretty heavy ice because once you put a decent piece of ice on R and D, um, especially for criminals, it becomes much much harder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to hit it effectively. Yep. Um, he has options if he doesn't get madly unlucky. So this time he's definitely going to go for his agenda. He knows his HQ is safe. His R and D is safe for one turn, uh, barring another and maker's that's eye. Pretty good. That hedge fund is very good. Yeah, it's going to be very useful. So he's going to score that agenda, get it off his hand, have that ready for the archer later. Of course, it is going to be a difficult choice if he's going to actually use it for the archer, since um, every point that you lose is uh, less points later. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess one archer is uh, going to be very useful, especially if it's an early archer, you can get to lock down something pretty well. Mm -hmm. So. And there we go, here comes the sneak door. Unfortunately, it's too little, too late. The agenda is out of his hand and he only has a melange to lose. Let's see if he's going to manage to... No, he's straight to the melange. Uh, oh. Straight to the melange, that's pretty unlucky. <laughs> yep, that's going to sting a bit. But... Uh, um, I, I think Inermis doesn't realize it, but that was very lucky of him because if Orange Rebel managed to put that melange down eventually, that would have been pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, um, 
the Corminal knows what's coming, so I'm wondering if he's going to uh, realize this is a roto turret on that uh, server, um, or if he's just going to face check it, because he saw this uh, the roto turret coming with the uh, maker's eye, so he's probably expecting to be one of those two eyes. The question is where, and is he willing? So that's yeah, that's pretty strong for orange level now because. Oh, he goes for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's going to face check it. Uh, if uh, if it's uh, a roto turret, obviously he can trust his uh, uh, archive memories, and then he anyway couldn't get into archives. So now, he's no. gonna lose his money. That's funny. He's not going to bad publicity. <laughs> yes, true, true. That is true. He actually loses his money because of the bad publicity. There's a the situation where yeah. the bad publicity actually works against him. Or that stuff, you know, when you have bad publicity or a compromised employee, and it just you raise the toll booth and get right into yeah. the range to be to lose your money. Exactly. <sighs> so many times I've forgotten my own uh, uh, corporate uh, uh, employee, and uh, just was like, oh no, shit. Um. On the other hand, the, the orange devil is uh, fairly poor at the moment, so he does have a fairly safe hand, however, so he's probably going to make money and then eventually either play the archer or the caduceus in his hand. He can go um, archer caduceus and have a very decent remote that is relatively cheap to res. Mm. If he goes to go for the remote, but he might uh, decide to go for the central server, because uh, if he has a very strong remote, but a corporation, um, uh, but a runner account siphons him, then he's going to be with his uh, uh, feet in the cold. Mm -hmm. And he just keeps drawing ice. Yeah, that's pretty decent. He did lose an agenda, but I think he's maybe going for something faster. Okay, now he has something to stop that inside job. I'm really curious to see if he's going to start protecting his R&D a bit more now. There we go. The Caduceus. It's a decent move, but... Uh, Very decent. If he decides to check it after putting a code gate breaker, code gate, code gate breaker it's going to pay for itself. Problem is, so uh, if the runner goes like a Crypsis, two tokens and an account siphon, then there's nothing you can do to stop it, unless you have that arch already. Um, he could go for the farm on r and I guess. And try to start pushing, pushing some pressure. To go for the what now? For the FEM? Yes. Farm, farm on Tollbooth on R&D. Oh, he goes for Crypsis. Yeah. Um, I think he wants to keep the FEM until uh, for, th for the moment that the uh, corporation actually plays the remote. Um, mm -hmm. I think we're going to see him instead uh, put some tokens on uh, that Crypsis and then start running HQ to force the runner to actually raise that guy so he, he has an idea what it is. Hmm. Um, I don't think he's gonna put that Sun Sun down unprotected. Mm. He probably wants to keep it. No, he is, he's, if he can actually stop the runner, he can waste the man on his money. Next turn, he can, and he draws an agenda next turn, he can actually go with the Roto Turret and the Ice Wall and actually may be able to stop it. Okay, he actually put the archer down. Interesting play. So he goes for the strong remote. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see if the runner is going to take the bait. And if he takes the bait, I wonder if uh, if foreign devil is going to decide to use that archer just for the Crypsis. Mm, it's not a very meaty hit. Usually, um, and as we see, he does have a corroder as well, so he's definitely not a Crypsis only deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and if he actually hits that Crypsis, uh, the Femme Fatale is probably going to go on the Archer afterwards. And uh, having that Femme Fatale on Archer on the remote is not something you want to see, because um, when you got your Archer Femmed, you want your Archer at least to be on a central server. But um, if it's a remote, you only need to pass it a few, two or three times anyway. All right, so he's going to. Okay. I think he's not going to raise anything. Yeah, there you go. He doesn't yeah. raise anything. Yeah. It's not worth it at the moment. 
and uh, he's just going to let him see the Sanson and uh, he won't be able to uh, he won't even be able to trust it so exactly so there's no points yeah that was a pretty solid uh, play there What the nervous did was uh, pretty reasonable, a very, very reasonable play, but it just um, kind of backfired, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, uh, it's a bit likely that Oranjev doesn't actually have any agendas, so he can actually bluff him instead. Mm -hmm. That's why it's always pays to have some assets in your deck, even some in grades, because uh, at the moment when the runner is down, you can actually force him to waste uh, critical resources for... Uh, something that won't help at all and he keeps drawing the random stuff the random ice um, i would play that side on r d or maybe even in archives because uh, that road authority doesn't look that dangerous anymore yeah uh yeah it makes sense probably on archives because at any time a ninja could drop and mm -hmm. ah he does need oh he goes for it he can, uh, he can, he, he can go for it, and he gets his money back anyway, and he gets to see some. And cards. that makes exactly that makes perfect sense. He has seen no agendas. He doesn't know that Orange Devil has been just drawing ice. Yeah. yeah. His agendas must be somewhere, and he needs to keep up the pressure because criminals strongest in the early game, and um, yeah. he's been kept out pretty much. Oh, oh. oh perfect. Uh, but I do think the game is very quickly slipping away from uh, the criminal. He doesn't seem to be having any luck. Orange Devil has amazing, uh, uh, amazing draws with his agendas. In, he, he doesn't draw any. And um, against an early game <laughs> runner, if you can just protect your uh, uh, everything you have and force him to uh, keep uh, running for no for nothing, you can really dominate later. Um, it's worth noting here that actually Orange Devil is playing Wayland without Scorched Earth. Yes, that is true. Um, which um, is very interesting because uh, when the runner plays against Wayland, he has to account for Scorched Earth in his every move. Mm -hmm. You can't be fall, fall behind a lot in money, and if you do, you need to stop running because mm -hmm. you might get scissors any, at any time. Yep. Um, the thing is that even when you're not playing Scorched, the runner doesn't know that, so you're slowing his tempo without dedicating your game to that. It's yep. actually a pretty strong move. Yeah. There we go. Now we're going to see the corporation getting the economic advantage very quickly. And I don't think uh, the runner can actually do anything to stop him. He's probably preparing to uh, play his magnum opus. Um, but now is the question what to do. He could go for the account siphon on the R on the HQ and uh, see what he hits. But then again... Very risky. He doesn't know what the face down ice is. Could very yeah. well be an archer. Yeah. I don't think he played it correctly here. Yeah. He's uh, realized he doesn't have enough MU. Yeah. And uh, the click. Um, so in that case I would probably run first on the archives once to make him raise that archer and then play the magnum opus. Otherwise there's no point in just yes. wasting that card. Of course he doesn't know that, um, sorry I, didn't, I, I said archer but it's a shadow. Um, he doesn't know it's a shadow. He doesn't know it actually helps. Um, but, but it would help if he right now he run until he hits the archer and yes. just install afterwards because yes i would even run that remote server uh just to raise uh, make him raise some ice so he is not going to go for that and uh, now the corporation doesn't really need to use melans more and he still doesn't draw agendas very impressive and he's still just wow just drawing ice yeah um at this moment orange devil could easily play an enigma as well because um uh, the small ice is the bane of Acrypsis, but he just goes for it. I think he's waiting uh, for the co for the runner to actually waste all his resources trying to break through that uh, melange. Um, okay, maybe he... Um, it's interesting, is he going to do it now? Oh. Yes, he's going to do it with his last click. He, he's basically telling the runner, 
Okay, I know you don't have any agendas. Hey, sorry, any scorched thirds. Or he believes he doesn't have any scorched thirds. He's just going to uh, play it like this. Very, very bold risky. move. Very bold move very against risky. the Wayland. Um, I don't know what he's thinking. He's probably afraid that he's falling too far behind and he needs to do something about it. Which is true. Which is true. He is falling very hard behind. He needs to actually take the uh, offensive. It is true that if now Orange Devil just starts getting agendas, like he draws two or three agendas, he can just score every single one of them yeah, probably. Yeah. Pretty easily. The problem is that that uh, that <laughs> still more ice. The problem is that the account cipher doesn't hurt when you have a melange in the game. So uh, exactly. that account cipher only serves to give the runner credits. Um but it's just not uh enough at this point of time to have more so a, a few more credits than the corporation okay let's see where he goes where he's going to take it maybe that the toll booth interesting yep he's he going for the toll booth yes. people still don't know that they can actually use the fame by targeting before they play the play here <laughs> you don't have to actually yeah. draw the token every time um, this is interesting. Is he just giving up and just going to score from R&D? I don't understand because that Melange needs to die. He Look, Melange is, he has to die, but uh, oh, oh, at the perfect moment. At the That's perfect, pretty lucky. <laughs> that is pretty lucky. <laughs> or at that, he kept drawing only eyes and the moment he decides to run the R&D, he, he, he hits the agenda. If he hits a three-pointer, Oh, that, okay, that's, he's just going to be so lucky. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What luck! That was like medium level psychic <laughs> powers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I I would be crying if I was Orange Devil now, or breaking my desk or something. Um, wow. Alas Devil is probably just frustrated enough. Let's go to the next one. I, I would be whoa. <laughs> All right, let's go.